today we're going to be talking about the scam that is lagos restaurant let me just tell you something now if i'm paying a certain amount to come and eat in your restaurant you best believe i'm going to be shooting content there what the hell you best believe i'm going to be bringing my ring lights there because trust with their 100 percent aesthetics and garbage food <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is success the success carter and if this is my first time on your screen i beg please don't make it your last two please now i'd like for you guys to join the fam because you know over here we keep it cute and we have fun and the vibe is vibing so why don't you stay subscribed <laughs> and if it's not welcome back og so today is a rant and bant kind of day and let's not even be around the bush today today we'll be talking about the scam <laughs> that is lagos restaurant and how they've shown their customers and consumers shaggy <laughs> with their 100 percent aesthetics and their garbage garbage food now before we move on to the part of the video i just need to clear the air and i need to get this out of the way now if i'm paying a certain amount of money to come to your restaurant to come and eat one food that i know that i can prepare that yarisi can prepare close to my house or that i can successfully go to black belt to purchase if i'm coming to your restaurant to spend my money because we all know how overpriced you guys can be if i'm coming to a restaurant to spend my money and eat a particular kind of food that i can probably get from anywhere you best believe that i will be shooting my content there you're gonna see me you're gonna see me there with my with my hot couture poses i'm gonna be like on on your table because oh real wayne because what the hell why would you tell me not to do that after i've spent money in your establishment then you're not ready to collect your money let me be going you're not you're not ready because what the hell today we're going to be talking about lagos restaurants all things lagos restaurants we're going to be analyzing price points policies and all the shebags because it's been a couple of weeks and I've been receiving news and I've been seeing TikToks on different restaurants just doing the absolute most. So today we're going to talk about it. And this is the conversation that I would like to have in the comment section. So feel free to share your experiences if you've had like a crazy ass experience like in a Lagos restaurant and whatnot. I personally haven't, you know, had the worst experiences because you know for like last two years i was into the restaurant thing you know restaurant hopping every new spot was my jam i was always going to the latest spot taking my pictures and in those years because i've stopped now i've never really had a scenario where they said i shouldn't take pictures the only scenario i can remember in my head is when i went to slow and they were literally like oh you can't take pictures here because you're getting the customers at the back now that is a valid reason and that is a valid like situation where i understand like oh i can't take pictures because other customers privacy must be respected so aside that i haven't really you know gotten any any oh you can't take pictures here even at a particular restaurant that was very controversial that like people were like oh you can't take pictures i went there i took my pictures i made videos i was giving them the vibe you if you see my videos you know it's it's very out there <laughs> i was there and nothing happened so i've never really had a first-hand experience on this kind of thing however recently i've been seeing this trend on tiktok where you know restaurants in lagos are doing the absolute most in fact let me not even this around which let's just get right into the video lagos restaurants have been doing the absolute most and um a few weeks ago i found this trend on tiktok where a lady you know went to a certain diner and you know she ordered for a drink and this drink cost a ridiculous amount of money i think it cost fifteen thousand naira. Fifteen thousand naira for a drink for something that i can put block fanta and put all these things and drink it in my house it cost 15k and she ordered it with her friends and you know they were just you know there they were not really hungry because i think they, they already went to a restaurant before according to her story time i'm just like paraphrasing and you know 
they were taking their pictures and the manager came and said oh you're not allowed to take a picture if you don't buy food now what what the hell is that <laughs> what huh she literally said you can't take pictures here without you know buying food after buying your overpriced drink of 15,000 naira i'm like what the hell and the lady was like she had to change it for the woman and she had to you know really stand up for herself and say why are you not why are you doing this like this doesn't even make any sense like you can't do this and later on it got resolved and she took her pictures and everything a few days ago my friend who is a food blogger also now posted about the same restaurant that you know she went there and the service was crap and the food was crappier and the only thing she enjoyed probably was the overpriced drinks and she wrote a honest review and she just posted it on her page guys you would not believe that this restaurant blocked her what <laughs> i'm not even a food blogger but like i know that once you give your honest review on something and maybe if you had a bad experience maybe bad customer service or or what have you the restaurant that has sense is supposed to maybe call you up chat you up and you know apologize or try to make amends for your bad experiences but no oh my jay blocking <laughs> they gave this lady blocky they, they blocked her life <laughs> i was like i was bamboozled i was like what the hell is going on here this is not real is it and it just got me thinking these lagos people that are opening restaurants nowadays they feel like they've arrived they feel like nobody can say anything to them or they feel like they are because they built one building with with blue walls and lights everywhere that they've arrived <sighs> guys <laughs> i'm even weak <laughs> help me judge the matter because i really still don't understand the concepts behind this whole lagos restaurant shebang and i literally don't want to be biased because i'm seeing i'm seeing my view from a customer point of view and so in this video i don't want to be biased i want to literally talk about the two sides and maybe play devil's advocate and get into the minds of you know these people that actually own the restaurant to see what they are thinking and to see their mindset that will give them the balls and the audacity to say certain things to the customers who is paying your bill the customer are literally paying your bill so i'm trying to get into their mind to probably think about what they are thinking for them to say that now i'm going to first take the customer's perspective into view because i'm a customer and i can understand what a customer will be expecting when they go to an organization now me as a customer when i want to come to your establishment i am literally not coming there because of your food let's just say that let me even be for real in all those years that i've gone to like fancy restaurants me personally i'm not that hungry honestly because what i found out at the end of the day is that when i'm now going to these restaurants when i go there when i order the food i can't even finish the food because i'm thinking about oh is the song going to go down i need to get my pictures am i going to be bloated after eating this meal it's just so many things running through my head i'm literally not there for the food per se I'm literally there to take my content and the food is somewhat very feral <laughs> the food is like second chair because that's really not why i'm there i'm there because i have seen your aesthetic on instagram and i have seen that you know this outfit is going to go well with it so i'm there to take my pictures and i know that you can't just come and take your pictures there you have to patronize them you have to give them your money in return for you know using their spaces and i understand that and that's why i do that secondly i'm just like you when you're building your organization when you're building your restaurant what do you think people are going to do in their minds when you, you are putting instagramable spots in your restaurant you're building your restaurant with that aesthetic with that vibe with that picturesque 
wall and you are expecting in your mind that people are not going to come there solely because they want to take pictures i don't get it because i know in your mind of mind you knew and you told that architect that oh i want a fine space you told that interior decor person that oh i want a fine space that i should be able to use to draw people in and you know have them buy something in order for them to want to take the pictures there i know that that is what you had so why are we fronting why are you now acting like you know you don't know what we are here for chelsea chelsea come on now <laughs> why are we acting dumb like you don't know that we are here because you built your your space like that so we are attracted to that's why 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 like why i'm not trying to toast you why are you fronting for me <laughs> why are you behave like you don't know why i'm really here so it's just a bit confusing to the consumers when these people act a certain way and i would never understand things like you know minimum spend when it comes to restaurants and i'll never understand concepts like you have to buy food for you to be able to take pictures in the restaurant at the end of the day i'm patronizing you i don't know about you guys though but like restaurants i've gone to a restaurant before these are well-known restaurants in lagos that have been existing for a while now and i've ordered just drinks and i've taken my pictures with no disturbances i'm even going to call names knock by alara is very very good when it comes to this they will they will literally not bother you like why are you why are you trying to shove your food down my throat what if i don't want to eat and i just want to get a drink take some pictures and look cute you're now saying that i must what that i must buy food i must buy rice and plantain before you allow me in your take pictures in your institution it's just a bit confusing to the consumers because what if i'm not hungry what if i just want to catch a drink with my friend and feel cute together and take some pictures you're not thinking about that we must buy your you must buy your leftover food you must buy your filming your filming it's just it just doesn't make any sense to be honest to me and i'm just like that's a bit side eye i'm just like hmm, bombastic side eye because why are you forcing me to buy your rice why are you forcing me to buy your your lobsters why are you forcing me i don't want to buy i want to come and drink your overpriced drinks and go and you even find out that the price points for these things are so high that if i were to how am i buying one drink for fifteen thousand naira and you're telling me i need to buy i would deck you ah god are you are you all right hey god have they go god have they go hey thank god they brought that to me because ah i would just start are you are you okay <laughs> so i think that's where the consumers and customers are coming from because they feel like they're coming to your institution to spend money so why are you trying to make it look awkward for them now you embarrass them and you've done all these things against them it just doesn't look cute to them now i will you know argue from a one-side perspective i'm going to also you know play the devil advocate and argue for you know the owners of these businesses now i was scrolling through tiktok and a shout out to kamsi in the money she brought out some points that i really sat down and i really was like okay i can actually i can actually maybe see where these owners are coming from to be honest and she made certain points and i would just like to you know maybe share that to you so shout out to kamsi in the money for this point she made a point that you know what if this owners of this restaurant are building the restaurant to cater to a certain audience now this doesn't really you know entertain classism or what have you but you know she made an instance of you know an owner of a rest an owner of a diner wanting to initially cater to families and you know make it like a family oriented building and you know these slay queens are coming in with their bum shots with their open tear bra with their show me your back with their fashion nova skin this skin this skin here they are coming in with all of that where like literally family and children are seated and it's just a bit awkward for like the people in the space so i can understand that <laughs> i can understand that perspective because it, it would just look awkward in the grand scheme of things to you know want your restaurants to 
cater to a certain amount of people and then other kind of people are coming in and they don't want to respect your the decency you have for the place i can understand that so that's one point she made that i was just like hmm okay i can probably see how awkward that would look and she was like oh even some restaurants that have policies at the door that you see these policies and you're just feeling like oh because i'm going to spend my money in there if i'm entitled to do whatever i like to do that if i'm building a restaurant or I'm building an establishment you should be able to follow my set rules for that because at the end of the day it's my space so these are like some of the points that she made but i was just like okay i can see why i can see why you have the balls and the audacity to do some things however i don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comment section if these opinions are actually valid but i'm just gonna say this and say this you know for saying sake for me oh i don't know about you but for me i know that i'm necessarily not coming to your restaurant to eat food because if i wanted to eat food i'll go to places like the place black bear they will sell me rice chicken plantain salad flag your flaming your they will sell it for me and i would not spend past five thousand naira to eat it why am i coming to your restaurant and this total package is costing me 15k and you're telling me that i can't take pictures if i don't spend up to like maybe 50k i'm just it doesn't make any sense to me because at the end of the day i'm spending my money you don't know if that's the only money i have that i came to come and spend your institution so why am i why am i stopped to take pictures and your establishment because you feel like i haven't spent enough that's just dumb reasoning to me and that doesn't make any sense to me so for me as a customer as a customer i'm just like no it just doesn't make any sense to me if i'm spending money in your establishment then i should be able to get value for my money and my value should be your services to me which includes i should be able to use your space provided i'm not you know causing like nuisance to your space do you understand that i should be able to use your space because that comes with it because in your mind when you were creating that establishment you did so you did so because you thought that was going to attract people to your restaurant so you design your restaurant in a way to attract people with the aesthetics now we are here about trying to take pictures with the aesthetics and you're acting like you don't know what we're talking about i mean the two plus two is not making four at this point it's making 110 because you're actually doing the most now for me there are just certain things that i do in a rest that i do before going to like a restaurant to avoid this kind of things and that's what i always tell people to you know do their due diligence what did i just say due diligence due diligence before you go to like a restaurant because this will save you a lot of stress and it will save you a lot of rubbish to be honest on a typical content day i'm shooting like th two to three looks so i literally don't have the time to come and be saying oh i'm not that no i just want to come to your restaurant buy something take pictures and move on to the next location that i need to do i'm not about to be spending the entire day in your restaurant so what i do is i do my due diligence i go on your instagram page i look at the menu look at what i can afford look at your policies you know even look at the tag location to see what is going on there sometimes i even look for like youtube videos you know addressing the restaurants and giving reviews on the restaurants and this is something that has really saved me stress because um if i know that your restaurant is giving me a headache i would not be going there because why you want to stress me on my content day I, this one is this one is going i need to get these pictures i need to get out of here so all those things in your due diligence will just save you a lot of things also i know this might be like a superficial point but mind the way you're dressed to certain restaurants to be honest because i'm not trying to like bash anybody but i'm just saying in lagos the way you're dressed will either take you to certain places or will shut you out of certain places and i've i i've firsthand i've experienced this you all know that when i go out i'm decked to the motherfucking <laughs> am i about to curse i'm decked to the freaking core like you cannot see me out in public and you want to stop me from entering a place what 
you will first be afraid that who is this person? Who is the way I will even be walking to you? Be afraid. Ah, who is this? Who is this? Who is this person? You know. So I get that that's a superficial point, but it will definitely play to whether or not somebody will want to come and be talking to you in some way. If you present yourself in a way that is up there, I don't think anybody will want to be like, oh, do, do, do. first of all, you know the fear face. So yeah, just maybe mind the way you actually like dress to like the restaurant and stuff. So just avoid issues. But in general, just start do your homework. Just start do check TikTok. Just type the restaurant. You will see the rubbish they've been using. You've seen the rubbish they've been doing. What they've done to embarrass themselves. So just maybe do your due diligence. But for me, I just don't feel like the restaurants are it's just too much the restaurants are just, nowadays they're just doing too much because the old restaurants we had back in the day even when your space looks beautiful they would when they see you taking video even be like oh let me help you take the angles because whether you like it or not it's part of pr for your company if i look good in your restaurant people will be like oh where is that and they will come there and they will take pictures there and they will post and other people will be like that's why i generally don't believe in like a place casting or what they like to call or oh, it has casted because at the end of the day people are coming there to patronize your business let's see ca- let's see let's see cast <laughs> my baby so far you're making your money what the hell is that so i just feel like that those are the things that you need to first of all like put at the back of your mind before you like go to a restaurant now i just maybe like to recommend some places that you can actually go and take pictures for free without hassles because let me tell you something these people out here that out to embarrass you tell them no tell them boy bye because you don't deserve none of that so the first place i would like to tell you that i always go to you know me now i, I always like to look for the free spot because i don't have time to waste i don't even have time to eat to be honest so the first place i recommend is eco atlantic very easy to get into very beautiful space you can you literally use anywhere it's best if you're driving but if you don't have a car just tell them to take it to the Paris restaurant and you can literally take pictures there before you go to the restaurant and let me tell you something guys you don't have a minimum spend so you can literally spend your money on like the cheapest drink and still take your pictures so that is like the first place like i said before knock by alara you can literally just get a drink take your pictures you know places like landmark the beach there's just so many places in lagos that would not necessarily stress you out when it comes to picture taking but if you actually want to go to problematic problematic places to want to take your pictures just maybe research and see what they're all about before you go there all right guys we have come to the end of today's video in today's video i probably dissected this guy that is lagos restaurant and all that razzle dazzle if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and i would like to know in the comment section what has been your most dramatic restaurant you see in terms of like going there taking pictures and all that shebang i want to know let's let's know how to to move forward from this situation because to be quite honest what's in the happen for here <laughs> so yeah let me know in the comment section all that shebang and yeah i will see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>